International relations is all about politics and economy. But civilizational dialogue is all about shared values. It's about family. It's about shared histories. It's about how to make the world a better place. And so I think that a civilizational dialogue allows us to set our national identities aside and talk to each other as human beings. The greatest thing that a human being can do is not find some kind of truth, but rather to have an intelligent conversation. And what we have at the Beijing Luntan always is an intelligent conversation. The Beijing Forum leadership identifies a version of the large question about the harmony of civilizations and prosperity for all that is especially appropriate for the current moment. And at this moment in time, when we think about harmony among civilizations or civilizational coexistence, as they call it this year, uh, I think the key question is digital intelligence. The AI might, might help us to think in a more optimistic, positive way, not about all the problems that will overwhelm us, which of course are very serious, but also giving us ways to think in new ways about the future, to develop new tools. AI is a tool, but it is a complicated tool. It is more complicated than knife and fork is a tool. A hammer is a tool. But AI is a tool, but how you use the tool is very important. Uh, Michelangelo can use a hammer and make a sculpture. Someone else can make a hammer and make a beautiful wall. I can make a mess with a hammer. But it's how you use the tool. So we have to all learn to be expert at the tool of AI. It's not easy. We are very concerned about AI artificial 翻翻的比一些这个西方的汉学专家还准确 Chinese is doing a lot on digitalization of cultural heritage and I think they, this is one of the best improvements so far but of course there are many other ways to um, use artificial intelligence in education It is critically important that the Beijing Forum which has for 22 years been a place where people can come together and think together about hard problems that are also important problems, I think it was deeply insightful.